What up, YouTube? This is Getty Video back at you with another video. I want to give a double salute to all of my supporters and anyone watching this video right now. And if you're new here, please like, comment, subscribe, and join the Getty Gang. Why don't you let's get to the content? Okay, man. Young Thugs, super lawyer Brian Steele drops bombs on the first YSL snitch to be called to the stand by the name of Trontavius Tick Stevens, man. And on day 15 of the trial, Brian Steele has finally had an opportunity to cross-examine Trontavious Stevenson, man. And by the time he was done, I believe that he has instilled reasonable doubt in the minds of the jury, man. Young Thug's lawyer was cooking and has single-handedly made a mockery out of the prosecution in its entirety, as well as his first witness slash snitch it is interesting i'm gonna let y'all get to it this is getty radio let's go now the district attorney said a lot of questions to you about YSL like they're one. You remember all those questions like YSL is like a group, always together. Remember all those questions? Objection compound. I sent questions to form. You didn't rephrase it. Okay. Do you remember questions about YSL is together? Remember that? Or ask you those questions? Yeah. Jeffrey Williams from early early life he was not on cleveland avenue much was he no nah, not early he separated from cleveland avenue because he was working right I don't know what the reason was, but yeah, he went there. And he was working at the same craft that he does today. He's a performer, right? Yeah. And you knew that eventually he had homes, various homes, right? I know. You never knew he had homes in California? Oh, I know now, but yeah. Okay. And you weren't with him. Right? Yeah. He didn't put you on the lease, right? No. He didn't take you with him, right? Right. He didn't pay for you to get out of Cleveland Avenue, right? Right. In fact, he didn't do that for anybody there that you grew up with, right? I know about me. Okay, we'll talk about you. But Jeffrey would encourage you, isn't it true? And gave you opportunities to have a job with him if you wanted it, right? He encouraged me to start selling drugs. One more time. I said he would encourage me to start selling drugs. Yeah, he wanted you to stop committing crime, right? How would you? Yeah. And he offered you jobs like you can carry bags for the group when they tour, right? Tell the jury. Yeah. And he gave you opportunities to try, I'm not saying it's for everybody, but try to perform rap music in the studio, right? Yes. He gave you opportunities, if you wanted it, to possibly try to organize, because they do a lot of packing up the um, equipment and the luggage, right, and pack for people, right? It, it was an opportunity for me, man. But you wanted the instant money like a theft, right? Yeah. yeah I wasn't trying to do none of this stuff, man. I can't hear you. So I wasn't trying to do none of this stuff. I don't know what you need. Just explain your answer to Yeah. I, yes, I, I want instant money. Yeah. And what Jeffrey was offering you is not, he wasn't just going to give you money, but he gave you opportunities to change your life, right? 
Most definitely was an opportunity. I couldn't yes, it. it was an opportunity. And he gave opportunities, if you know, to everybody in poverty. True? If they wanted to work hard. I stand the objections over, Brian. Go ahead and rephrase it, sir. To your knowledge, Jeffrey made that same commitment to other people who were struggling. True? I'm going to object. Still the same, same issue, Mr. Steele. I'm, I'm standing the objection. It's over, Brian. So rephrase it, please. Do you know whether Jeffrey made that offer to others? Still, Brian. You want to make it a little specific, more specific? Did Jeffrey give an opportunity for lawful work in YSL record company music to other people? If you know. A standing objection. Mr. Stevens. <clears throat> Eventually, you got off drugs, right? After prison. Couldn't hear you. After prison. Okay. And you don't do drugs now, do you? No. And when you went to prison, that's different than the jail. That's different than Fulton County Jail, right? Yes. And prison is horrible, too, isn't it? Yes. You're away from your kids, right? Yes. Yes. You could be five hours away, depending upon where you're put, right? That's true. Dangerous? Yes. And when you've been in prison before, how often did Jeffrey Williams come to see you? You can come see me. I can't hear you. None. So the, according to the prosecution, you're business partners, right? That's what they're saying. You're co-founders. You really didn't co-find anything with Jeffrey. Isn't it true? He went one direction, you stayed in another. Isn't that true? We went separate ways. But Jeffrey never turned his back to you. He always made himself available if you needed something. Isn't that true? Yeah. He let you come to his home, right? Yes. If you were going to be put out from your house, he would pay that money for you one time, right? Yeah, but... I can't hear you. It's you will help out. Okay. But most importantly, he wanted you not to live a life of crime. Isn't that true? Yes. Man, this is some cold stuff right here, man. What Brian Steele just did was really put it out there that Young Thug wasn't really on Cleveland Avenue like that, did not grow up on Cleveland Avenue like that, was not out there wilding out on the streets like that. Actually, he was in hot pursuit of his career, being a performer, trying to do something with his life, and then encouraging those guys like the dudes that's testifying against him right now to get out of the streets and what did they do at the first sign of trouble or what did this individual do as far as this dude is concerned right here what did he do at the first sign of trouble threw young thug under the bus at least that's how brian Steele has just painted it to the jury through the help of tick on the stand man just let me say this man there is no honor among thieves man you got guys out there that lie steal snake each other kill you know cheat do anything they can just to get by and this is nothing more than an example of that all that man is trying to do is get by even if young thug's life hangs in the balance man that is shameful and outright disrespectful and outright just dis 
loyal man that man just admitted that young thug tried to save his life young thug wanted him to get out of the streets young thug wanted him to stop committing crimes took the man on the road he out there on the road committing crimes young thug had to send him back encouraged him to do something with his life even helped him with his rent even gave the man money trying to build up the community and the rest of them dudes out there that ain't got nothing going on for their life young thug was trying to pull them out at least that's what brian Steele painted today during his cross-examination man this is crazy and i got to say he just instilled reasonable doubt in the jury and even reasonable doubt in me because that man did not deny anything that brian Steele asked him he asked him young thug wanted him to stop committing crimes he said yes now what do you think the jury is gonna think about that is young thug some wild crazy animal thug orchestrating murders out in the city no he's trying to pull them guys out of poverty he's trying to pull them guys out of that ghetto mentality man talk about disloyalty bro this is heavy man let this be a lesson to you guys man the streets is dead the streets is a myth there's no honor there's no cold don't nobody care nothing about that all there is out there in the streets is self preservation man and if a person can throw you under the bus and hang your life in the balance while they go home and eat five course meals and drive trucks and live a regular life smoke weed have the women the whole nine yards they will sacrifice you for that man just understand that man listen y'all let me know what y'all think about this in the comment section man this has been getty video i appreciate you being here please like comment subscribe i will catch you guys on the flip side peace